Welcome you all to the video lecture on signals and system. Today we are going to find out the transfer function, frequency response, impulse response and step response for the given RL circuit. So here given is the RL circuit where we have input x of t and output y of t. So from the given problem we can able to analyze that, that it, it is a unit 3 where we are discussing about continuous time systems ok. So, we have to apply the Laplace transformation. So, first we have to apply KVL then followed by we need to apply the Laplace transformation for the given circuit and we can find out the transfer function frequency response impulse response followed by the step response ok. So, the given circuit is input x of t with the resistor r and inductor l and we have output y of t across the inductor l and the current across the circuit is given by i of t. So, first step apply KVL for the given circuit. So, input is x of t that is in the left hand side and we have r i of t plus L into d i of t by dt ok. So, if it is capacitor we can write 1 by c integral i of t dt. If it is inductor we have to write L into d i of t by dt. So, this is my first equation and apart from that I have y of t across the inductor L. So, apply KVL for that also. So, y of t So, y of t is also given by L into d i of t by dt ok. So, now apply Laplace transformation for both the equations. So, when I apply Laplace transformation for the first equation I get x of s equal to r i of s plus L for d by dt I have s, for i of t I have i of s ok. For the second equation I have y of s equal to L into d by dt means s, i of t means i of s ok. So, they have asked a transfer function, for the transfer function I need y of s by x of s ok. So, this I can simplify and write as r plus l s into i of s and y of s is given by l s into i of s. So, the transfer function is given by output by input y of s by x of s is l s i of s divided by r plus l s into i of s, i of s i of s get cancelled. So, generally the denominator term we will be writing as s plus the term. So, s coefficient we have to take commonly outside. So, take l outside we will be having r by l plus s. So, taking L commonly outside R becomes R by L, L S by L becomes S. So, L L get cancelled. So, this term is nothing but S divided by S plus R by L. Okay. So, this is the transfer function. Frequency response. Frequency response is given by h of j omega that is y of j omega divided by x of j omega. So, just replace s by j omega in the transfer function term. So, already we had s divided by s plus r by l. So, we have 
S is given by J omega divided by S again S is given by J omega plus R by L ok. So, this is my frequency response for impulse response So, for the impulse response we have input always as del of t. So, here we have x of t is input which is nothing but your del of t which implies x of s is equal to 1 ok. So, now already we know that y of s by x of s is given by s divided by s plus r by l. So, which implies my x of s is 1. So, y of s itself is given by s by s plus r by l. So, when we want to apply inverse Laplace transformation, I cannot apply directly. Why? Because usually here numerator you should have constant. Okay. Uh, if, if in the denominator I have a square term, then I can use cos formula. But denominator I do not have a square. Okay. Simply it is S plus the term. So, numerator I should have constant. So, what I can do here means this expression since I have s plus r by l I can write numerator as s plus r by l minus r by l ok. So, y of s is given by split your terms s plus r by l divided by s plus r by l is one term minus r by l divided by s plus r by l ok. Since I do not have direct formula for this numerator I should have always constant. So, just add this term and subtract this term ok. Anyway both the terms are equal. So, now both the terms are get cancelled you have 1 minus r by l into 1 by s plus r by l. Now, apply inverse Laplace transformation for this equation ok. So, apply inverse Laplace transformation. So, you have y of t equal to for 1 it is del of t minus r by l for 1 by s plus a it is e power minus r by l t u of t. So, this is my impulse response ok. So, for 1 inverse Laplace of 1 is del of t minus r by l 1 by s plus a is e power minus r by l t u of t. So, now we are going to find out the step response. For the step response always our input is u of t meaning that here x of t is u of t. So, x of s is 1 by s. Already we know y of s by x of s is s by s plus r by l. So, meaning that y of s is given by x of s into s by s plus r by l. x of s is 1 by s, 1 by s into s by s plus r by l. So, anyway here s s get cancelled my y of s is simply 1 by s plus r by l. So, directly we can apply inverse Laplace transformation since we have only one factor. So, y of t is given by e power minus r by l t u of t. So, this is the step response ok.
thank you thanks for watching